Do you like it here? Yeah, this is a good spot. I'm about to take a nap right here. Okay, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I know you probably want to ask, Echo, where are you? I'm in central region of Ghana. I've told you anything that has to do with central region, I'll take my hat off and promote it. So today, I'm in a beautiful beach community called Mori. Mori is located in the central region of Ghana. Mind you, I know some of you know of Asebu. So Mori is part of the Asebu kingdom, uh, being manned by Okatechi and Memphis the seven. But today, I am here in this beautiful apartment. It's an Airbnb. Sometimes I get a lot of messages, Echo, I'm coming to Ghana. I want to be in Cape Coast. Can you get me an Airbnb? So I happened to find one beautiful Airbnb, which is just closer to the sea. Let me show you. So from where I'm standing to the sea is just like two minutes walk. So I'm here to tour this beautiful apartment so that anytime you're coming to Ghana and you feel like you want or you need a place to lay your head, you already have Azul Beach House. Let's go inside and I'll show you more. Echo, echo, echo city. All right, so I told you that we'll be talking to uh, the manager, uh, the brother who's in charge of this place, and he will tell us more about Azul. Now, thank you very much for being on my channel. You're welcome. All right, You're welcome. so my name is Eko Simpson. What's your name? My name is Derek, Derek Mesa. Derek Mesa. Yeah. Derek, within 30 seconds, mm -hmm. just tell me something that will invite someone to come and stay here for a day, two, or maybe one month. Okay, so um, Azul Beach House is... It's a very nice place located just in front of the beach. We have a very nice edifice here. So as you can see, there's a pool just right here, which is very, very, very nice. And it's good for the family. And I can see it's very clean. Yeah, very, very clean. Okay. So we make sure we clean it every two days. Okay. That is what we do. So um, I'll walk you in okay. and I'll introduce you to what we have inside here. All right. All right, so let's go inside, and then Derek is really going to show me what exactly they have here. Let's go. All right, thank you. All right, so first of all, I would like to know, uh, how many rooms do you have here? What is the name of this place, actually? Okay, so it's Azu Beach House. Azu Beach Azu House. Beach House, yes. Okay, and how many rooms do you have here? So we have nine bedrooms. Nine bedrooms. Yes. So if you're nine or less, no, this can take like 18 people, pair, two, 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 18 people. Maybe I would have to plan with my friends come and spend a weekend here because I'm really loving it. Like they are cooking inside, you know. So aside the nine bedroom that you have here, what other facilities? I know you have the pool. Do you have other facilities that people can enjoy when they come here? Yeah, sure. So we have a game room. Game room. Yeah, we have a game okay. room. So we have um, a table tennis board, okay. which is upstairs. Okay. So if you're a table tennis fan, you can really enjoy it. All right. Do you know what? I wouldn't let Derek tell me everything. I want to go inside myself and experience everything that I have to know about this place. Like I'm telling you, if you're coming to Ghana, you need a place to stay. You're coming to central region of Ghana. Maybe you would want to think of this place, Azul Beach House. Oh. All right. So let me leave Derek. I'll go and do my thing, and I'll get back to you. And whatever question that you have, let me know. We'll take it from there. All right, so first of all, I want to go to the kitchen. You know, I like food. I don't like food. But let's go and see what is happening there. OK. I've seen these beautiful sisters having a dinner. Maybe I would want to try. Can you, can you give me a spoon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, OK. What's your name? Veronica, please. Veronica. Yes. What is your position here in this house? I'm a chef here. You're a chef? Yeah. So your food is nice? Yes. Mm. It's nice. Oh. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So when you come here and then you need somebody to prepare you anything, whether local, continental, you might want to talk to yeah. Veronica here. All right. Let's go ahead and let me show you more. So the first place that I've seen when entering from the gate, apart from the kitchen, where we all love the food, there is a common washroom here. So if you're a visitor and then you come around, you're not supposed to use somebody's bedroom washroom. This is what you're gonna use. So there is um, 
there's a WC here, and then they have um, a bath here. So you can wash down, do whatever you have to do without going to somebody's room. Let's go on. I've seen this big yard here. I think this is the living room. Come with me. Let me show you how big this place is. So there's already the dining table. Uh, let me stand this way. So the dining table can take, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe like eight people here, but maybe it may take more because um, there are other chairs to provide when you are more than eight people. And then the biggest TV that I've ever seen in my life can be found here. We are currently in Azul Beach House. Apart from the kitchen and then the common washroom, we also, and then the dining table, we also have one of the biggest halls that I've seen in my life. So um, this is it. You're here with your family. Everybody is seated somewhere around like here. I would love to sit here and just take a chill, you know, take a chill, just relax, watch TV, maybe play some game. But don't forget, Derek told me there's a game room. So we're going to go there as well. Aside this big hall, we're going to go to the uh, game room and then check the other individual rooms that you can lay your head when you come to Ghana, Central Region, Mori to be precise. All right, so the first room that we're going to go is here. Um, this room is named Kojo. Yes, look at this. This room is named Kojo. So I've already made a video telling you or educating ourselves that anybody, a Ghanaian male born on Monday is called Kojo. So if you're Kojo and you're coming here, make sure you opt for, if you're born on Monday and you're coming to Ghana, you're going to be here, make sure you opt for the Kojo room. So this is a typical room here. Let me see if I can put on the light. So, uh, okay. Wow, this is beautiful. This makes me, I mean, this reminds me of when I went to South Africa with the beautiful place, the beautiful rooms. And I think one thing that I love about Ghanaians right now is that we're getting to learn and change and develop the way we get involved with tourism. Because this, to be honest with you, it's a room that I would want to stay for like a week. Because when you come here, you have your own uh, chair here, beautifully positioned. You have this net, uh, this table made up of net. And then the bed, you know? Anything African, we are ready to promote it. Look at uh, the material that is used to lay the bed. I mean, it's just like what I'm wearing. What do you think? Yeah, we're promoting Ghana. We're promoting our culture. That is what it is. So you have your... Uh, two lamps here. You have your blindfold here that you can blind curtain. You can easily open, fill the air. And like I told you, this place is just closer to the seaside. So when you're bored here, you can just go out and feel the breeze. What else do you want? A place where you can park your stuff, unpack your bag, put all the stuff here. And I love this place. It's smelling nice. I don't know what they did to this place. Maybe I'll ask the owner. Maybe they have a special fragrance for this place, but it really smells nice. And then the, the floor, I like it. You know, this looks like a, a wooden floor, but this, I think it's made of, it's a towel. And then this here, I would want to even lie on the ground and just chillax. That's what it is. Anyway, let's go to the other rooms and then tell you more about it. But before that, I would like to talk to Derek if Derek is around, okay, Derek, um, you said you have nine rooms. Yeah. Do all of the rooms, are they the same, or we have maybe one with AC, one without AC? What are the differences with the rooms you have here? Okay, so um, all the rooms are the same. They okay. all have AC and then fans at the same time. Okay. Yes, but then the only difference is that two of the rooms don't have their personal washrooms. So okay, they, they are sharing. Yes, they share. The okay. Personal. Okay. So this particular room and then this particular And this one. Let's go. Show me this room. But aside that, I love this. What do you call this area? Uh, so open area. Yes. So yeah. Open area. <laughs> Anything that you want to do here? Entrance, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what, what, which day were you born? Friday. 
Friday. Friday is Fifi. But if you are born on Sunday, then we are heading towards the Kwesi room. This is for only the male. If you are male born in Ghana on Sunday, you are called Kwesi. So let's go to the Kwesi room where Derek is telling me that this and then that of Kojo, they are sharing a common bathroom. But aside that, the rest, they all have their uh, private bathroom inside. Okay. Another room. When you come in, you already have uh, your bottled water laid down for you. You have your bed, an okay bed for two people. Yes, we are not that big enough, so I think we can just manage this side. Um, in our local Ghanaian traditional rooms, we don't have <laughs> lamps, okay, bed lamps. But I think this is beautiful because if you put, on, put off the big one and then you need to read or do something with this one, after that you just, just click on something and then you're ready to go to bed. Let's go and check out the other rooms here. Yeah, okay. If you have kids, you came with kids, and they need a place to chillax or, you know, sit down, read some books, play some games, I think this is an exact place for you to bring your kids. There are opportunities for them to come sit here, you know, play some games, uh, read some books, and do whatever they have to do. So your kids are not left out when it comes to a place like this. So let's go up and let me show you more. A call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. brother who is called Sami Afodat. He plays traditional music and drums. He's in the U.S. right now. Big up yourself, Sami. Uh, he's taught me a lot about drumming. And I love the fact that this place, okay, have intentionally decided to promote our culture. That is why when you climb up, you would find a drum, a traditional African carved drum here. You might want to try it when you get here. And when you do, just send me a video of yourself playing this, and I'll be like, okay, my work is done. Let's go up. Currently, we are checking all the rooms here. Uh, there are nine of them. We've already checked two. And then we're coming to Bote room. I know Bote is, is a, is a gun word, right? All right, so let's go to Bote's room. Oh, wait, before you come here, you need a permission, because this, this place is like extraordinary. You, let's go inside and let me show you. Uh, how do I put, okay. Okay, all right, come in. So, Derek, I want you to tell me more about this room, because I've seen two beds here. One big one and then a smaller one. Tell me about the Bote room. What is it about Bote room with two beds and all that? Okay, so um, mostly some families when they come, their kids want to be with them. Okay. Yeah. So this extra bed is just for that convenience. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Then on the other hand, if you have like a large number of people coming in mm -hmm. and then the rooms are not enough. Okay. Is you have extra beds where you can share. Okay, so uh, he's really defined everything. Maybe you're coming with your kids, two kids, three kids, while the parents are here, but I would advise the parents should rather be there because the kids need their comfort. So whichever way, if the parents are here, they are okay. When the kids are here, they are super okay. Let's go to the washroom. The washroom is really big. Wow. Okay, so this is the washroom to uh, the Bote room, all right? So you have your sink here. Let me see. All right, the water is flowing already. Uh, you have your uh, towel here. The toilet or the WC is pretty nice. And then this one, we have your own washroom. So you, this one, this part, you are not sharing with anybody. You and your family, that is it. Hey, I forgot to show you something. When you come to the hotel room, there's something funny that goes on here. Look at what I'm going to do. Oh, okay.
okay? It's a touch, light, switch, whatever. Let me touch it again. Okay, so anytime you touch it, it changes color. How beautiful this is. Let's go. All right, so when you come here, there's also, um, oh, okay. There's a wardrobe, very huge enough, big enough. I can even sleep here. Very huge enough for you to keep your stuff. Let's move to the other side. Look up here. We're still dealing with the names. This is Na. It still has to do with the name from the Ga people. You know, in Ghana, we have like over 50 languages. And Ga is one of them, mostly spoken in Greater Accra, all right? So I'm very sure whoever owns this place has a relationship with the Ga people. So shout outs to all the Ga people watching me right now. Let's go to the Na room. Okay, so when you enter the Na room, it's really beautiful, an awesome spacious space. Yes, a very spacious space. I mean, you have the fun. I like this fun. It's, it's really like it's different from the one that we have. Let me see if I can touch it. Watch me. OK, I'm not expecting you to do the same when you come here, but I'm just loving this place. You have your AC, you have your fun. So if you don't want to use the AC, you can use the fun or vice versa. And I love something about the furniture. This is woven. This is woven. This is not like the typical wooden uh, furniture that we see around. This is woven. And I love it with your water and everything here. So when you come here, uh, note that you have some fresh water from Ghana to drink. You will love it. So let's go to the washroom. Let me show you more about the washroom here. Oh, this is the biggest washroom I've ever seen. This is the biggest washroom I've ever seen. Like, there's a lot of space. Normally, usually right now, when I wake up in the morning, I want to skip. So I think this room is big enough for me to be skipping. So when you come here, you might bring your own skipping room and then try it. I am thinking this place is also for maybe a family, two, three people, or two people who want to be here. So I'm going to start working from here, from the beginning to the end. This is how big the washroom is. Watch. So what else do you want to do here? <laughs> All right, so if you're watching my video right now and you're thinking, Echo, I'm coming to Ghana. I really want to be here. Just send me an email, send me a WhatsApp message. I'm definitely going to put their contact details in the description. Just give them a holler and they will show you where this place is. All right, let's go down there and then I'll show you more. Okay, so before we go to the next room, I have seen this open space here. I feel this is a place where families can sit, have dinner, talk about anything that has to do with, you know, living in Ghana and everything. I love this, this, this place. Let, let's go outside and let me see the view from there. Wow. This is nice. I told you this place is just closer just two minutes away, no, one minute walk away from the seaside. Come. This is it. This is where you can sit, have a family time. If you came in with your family or came, like as a couple, you can just sit here and do your thing. But aside that, you're having a view of the sea. You can hear the noise, right? So these people are carving or they are molding their canoes. Show them here. So that is what is happening right now at this side. These people are doing their thing. So if you are tired of being inside, you can go to them, join them and say, hey, um, I love to help you. I love to be around, watch you fix your canoe or whatever. This is really nice. Let's go. I call Simpson. Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. There is another room that Derek just showed me, which is Nana. I am called Nana, 
look up there. So in our language, when we say Nana, usually it relates to a bigger person, a very important person, or somebody who is of age, maybe like uh, an older person. So let's go check out Nana. Wow, Nana's place is big. Wow, this is it. This is Nana's place. Maybe when I come here, this is where I would want to uh, spend my night. Maybe one day just spend a night here in Azul. So let me call Derek and then ask him a few questions about how to book this place. If you're already interested in coming to live here, very interested in spending a night here, I think the best person to talk to is me. So I'm going to talk to Nana right now. So um, I've done a few rooms. I think I love this place. I think my followers, anybody who is watching right now, would love to come and stay here. Now, someone is interested in booking this place. What is the process? Where do they go to? Where can they find Azul Beach House? Okay, so it's very, very simple. Um, these days we are in the modern age and we deal with the internet often. So if you want to book Azul Beach House, just go to Airbnb, go to the Airbnb platform, and then you search for Azul Beach House. Okay. Yes. And then definitely you see us there and you can book. Okay. So um, can we tell them the prices of the rooms? Do we, are we aware of them? Yes. Yeah, so um, everything is online though. But then okay. uh, let me give you first hand. We don't actually book single or individual rooms. Okay. We do for the whole place. Okay. So yeah. So you book for the whole place at $350. Okay, so um, Derek is saying that you don't give this house individually. So some, one person will come and say, oh, I want one. No, you give it out like if you are taking the whole place, the whole place. So I think this is a perfect uh, move for people who are traveling as a family where maybe you're about 10, 8 to 10, or maybe 6 to 10, and then you need a place for yourself just by yourself with no intruder. This is the best place for you all right so you get on airbnb look for azul beach house you find all the details there all the prices there and you may want to book it and make sure that when you book it and then you get this place tell them that hey echo simpson brought you here. maybe you might get a discount or something but let's see what happens so let's go around i'm going to shoot a drone to really show you exactly what this whole place looks like i mean from the surroundings I mean, closer to the beach and everything. But if you're watching this, thank you very much for checking out our video. This is a beautiful place, an awesome place. And I want you to come and spend some time here. All right, so before we leave here, there are other places that I know Derek is going to show me. Uh, there's the game, the game room. Yes. Okay, but before that, Derek, I've seen a door here. Where does this door goes to? Okay, so this is okay. a balcony. Okay, so let's go. Let me check it out. Oh, another balcony. Okay. So this this is beautiful. Yeah, this balcony is so beautiful. I like it. It's so really nice. Okay, listen. Whilst we're here, there's a group. Come, let me show you. There's a group who is already here. There, as you can see. And they are here to spend, I mean, whatever here. I mean, I'm loving this place. I don't, I don't even want to go back. But this is a beautiful place that I would... Uh, recommend to anybody who is coming to Ghana make sure that you check out the video go to Airbnb book it send them a message and tell them that a call Simpson brought you I know you could hear the noise like I told you just after here one minute walk uh, there's the fishermen who are mending their boat carving their their canoes and everything you will love to come and stay here let's go let's go check out the game room and then we take it from to the Madeleine. I told you that this time I want to exercise, you know, reduce in size and everything. So when I go anywhere, I would want to ask, do you have a place I can exercise? And yes, there is a place called Chicago. Chicago is the room that can help you exercise. All right, so we have a table tennis board here. We have a table tennis here. 
Uh, let me see how best I am with Derek. I don't know if Derek is good, but we're going to try with Derek and see what is going to happen. All right, so when you come here, there are, there's an opportunity. Let's go. There's a, there's a, oh, Derek is not good, you know. <laughs> ah, Derek is still not good. But if you come here and then you want to try me, just try it. Derek, let's go. Hey, Derek is smashing. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right, so Derek is really trying to show me that he can play. But I said that, that, Derek, I've seen you have, uh, what do you call this? A treadmill. treadmill. So I know this is where you stand and be like, jogging like that. And what do you call this one? It's a bicycle. Bicycle. So if you want, if, when you come here and then you want to exercise, I mean, there's an opportunity for you to do that. You know, other places like this, you wouldn't have such an indoor exercising uh, equipment here. But here in Azul Beach House, you have it. So hey, thank you very much for checking me out. Like I told you, we're going to go out there, shoot a drone and really tell you exactly what to expect when you come here. Peace out. I'm paying for no other feel. Yeah, ready. Do you like it here? Yes, it is fun. I'm about to take a nap right here. Okay, take a nap. <laughs> All right, so whilst we were here, uh, there's a group, like I told you, Derek told me this place is for like a group of people. So if you're in a group, this is the best place for you to be. So whilst here shooting, uh, we had some visitors in and they are loving it already. Let me show you. Okay, so Derek, you are telling me that there is another thing that you want other people to know. Yeah, so we also have um, we have a massage going on here. So in case you come in and then you need a masseuse or a massage, yes, we are available. Okay. We set up any way you want us to set up. The upstairs, by the pool, even by the by the beach side. Okay. Yeah, we will set for you.